Hello and welcome to my talk on radio frequency design for ultra low power wireless communication systems. My name is Jasmin Grosinger and I'm an associate professor at Graz University of Technology in Austria. In the next 10 minutes, I want to give you a short overview of what you can expect if you attend my talk on this topic, which is a distinguished microwave lecture. With the digitalization of economy and society, if you think of 5G, or if you think of 6G, connectivity for everything, you can expect a massive deployment of wireless nodes, 10 to the power of seven devices per square kilometer. This, this is one projection. With this massive deployment of wireless sensor nodes and wireless communication nodes, we definitely have to think of sustainability issues, which will arise on environmental and economic levels. And researchers are currently working on radio frequency design challenges to solve these sustainability issues. For example, we propose to use ultra low power wireless communication technologies to get rid of the ecotoxicity of batteries and to reduce the cost of battery replacement by this ultra low power operation that we want to provide. We also propose to use a high level of integration to reduce the carbon footprint of these devices and to decrease production and end of life costs associated to these devices to solve these sustainability issues which will arise with this massive deployment of wireless sensor nodes. As said on the previous slide, researchers were translating or are currently translating these sustainability issues into radio frequency design challenges. And within this talk, I want to present some RF design solutions which were proposed to reach sustainability. In particular, I will focus on a specific ultra low power wireless communication technology, which is the radio frequency identification technology, short RFID technology. Here we operate at high frequencies and also at ultra high frequencies. On the other side, with respect to realizing a high level of integration, I want to, to present to you some design solutions to reach this high level of integration by using CMOS, if you think of RFID, it always comes in a CMOS technology and some system on a chip and system and package concepts, which you could also use, for example, to efficiently miniaturize RFID transponders tags. And in my talk, I want to specifically focus on two different design challenges, which were actually solved and which are still under investigation to realize sustainability for sensor nodes and communication nodes. The first challenge is efficiently miniaturizing of RFID tags, RFID sensor tags. And the second challenge is how to include passive sensing capabilities in RFID tags, which are typically used for identification. In the first part of the talk, I will focus on how to efficiently miniaturize RFID tags. I will show you some slides on how the RFID technologies work, how the system looks like, and what are the standards typically used. And after this introduction, I will take a closer look on what RF design solutions have been proposed for miniaturizing RFID tags. And uh, if you take a look actually at two example tags, one operating at high frequencies, the other operating at ultra high frequencies, what you do see is a tag consists of an antenna, a coil, a dipole antenna, and a chip, as you can see it here or here. So if you want to miniaturize the tag, you have to miniaturize the antenna. And as 
with the miniaturization of antennas, typically you have to deal then with a read range reduction. The read range in an RFID system is the so-called maximum communication distance that you can have between the reader and the tag. And as we have to deal with this read range reduction, if we really reduce the tag size considerably, we will also have to think of other means of communication, which we already use at HF frequencies, which rely on near field communication themes. So we focus then also at UHF on inductive coupling using coils or capacitive coupling using electrodes. And within the talk, I will focus in particular on a design example or a design solution that we've provided to show capacitive coupling. And of course, I will also show you some related work on it when it was proposed first. I will also speak about miniaturization classes within RFID tags. These you can see here, for example. You have here conventional size tags. And then if you want to miniaturize the tag size, you first focus on system on, a, system on package concepts using specific packaging technologies to decrease the tag size. If you further reduce the tag size, then you focus on system on the chip. And I will elaborate in my talk on the difference between these two classes and also how to use then booster antennas to once again then boost up the read range of the devices. In the second part of the talk, I want to show you some RF design solutions for integrating passive, passive sending capabilities in RFID tags, which are typical wireless communication chips with no sensor information or sensor add-on included. And as we think, I will present to you means of how to realize very power efficiently then how to include very power efficiently sensing capabilities in these tags. There are once again classes which you can define and which I will present. These are then two classes for both RFID technologies at HF and UHF. One class relies on tags which still operate batteryless, but rely on a specialized chip provided, for example, by NXP with additional sensor circuitry and the possibility of uh, attaching a sensor by itself. Here, for example, we have one solution that we created in our lab using an NXP Antec and an HF or a FID coil antenna with some ferrite on the back to mount it on metal and then uh, attaching a bimetal switch as a sensor to this tag. And this bimetal switch will help you to detect a temperature threshold violation. And the other class that is possible or that we can think of or has been thought of to use uh, as sensor tags is signal pattern based sensor tags or rather antenna-based sensor tags. How can we can use the antenna as a sensor? And in particular, if you think of UHF RFID and the use of dipole antennas, you definitely see that you have great potential actually to use such a dipole antenna as a sensor because a dipole is very sensitive to its nearest and closest environment. So we used it, for example, for water filling level monitoring. Other researchers, and I will show you some related work, used it, for example, for humidity monitoring. My talk will focus in particular on antenna-based sensing. So to use the antenna to sense its environment and to have a state-of-the-art RFID chip. And I will show you in particular, focusing on UHF RFID, how to 
realize sending using the antenna and what are the challenges we have actually to face to have a proper battery less operation because on one side we are using the antenna also as a sensor we kind of deteriorate our wireless power transfer in the absorbing mode of the tag and in the talk you will get to know absorbing mode and reflection mode and how it will be affected by additional sensing also on the talk i will speak about another challenge which is setup independence if you think of a wireless channel and you change the wireless channel you will have some changes in the backscattered signal and actually on the backscattered signal you also have your sensor information included so how to distinguish between these two things and these are this was actually uh, quite a battle in research to solve this challenge and there are actually still some issues left and i will also talk about these issues in my talk in the conclusion of my talk i will also give you a perspective of what is necessary in the future to solve what are the research challenges the, that we have to solve what are the rf design solutions that we have to provide to decrease sustainability issues at the environmental and economic level and to really make the connectivity for everything a reality thank you very much